So I posted this picture on my Instagram story and everybody's asking me how I do it. How do I set up my dual monitor setup and how do I get my mixer on my right hand screen? So I'm going to show you that in this video. Let's hop right into it. You get me. So first you obviously have to have a dual monitor set up. Mine are Philips dual monitors. First thing that you want to do is click on your desktop screen. And once you get these hooked up and everything, you want to go to your display settings. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have a one on the left and two on the right. Make sure that it looks just like this and you can identify it by hitting this and it says one there and two there. So that way, you know, you're good to go. Play resolution, make sure it's like that. Advanced display settings. So you go to advanced display settings, make sure that you have that check refresh rate. I just make sure that it's maxed out. These are 124, I believe, but I'm thinking that my motherboard or whatever, it doesn't go up to 124. So that's like the highest I can get with my my setup with my desktop computer, the motherboard, the graphics card. You could do stacks too. So you can set it up any way you'd like. You can put this on top if you have it. So it all depends on what you want for your setup. So after that, we can go back into FL Studio. So as you can see here, I have nothing on here. I set it to default so I can show you exactly how to do that real quick. The way I get my mixer on this entire screen is very, very simple. All I do is click this little drop down menu and I hit detached. When I hit detached, I can bring it over here and then I just full screen it. Not only do I full screen it, but I put it on extra large mode. So I get all of these other options that you can't see when it's on compact mode. And it's good if you don't have a dual monitor set up to keep it on that compact mode. But if you have it the way I'm gonna have it, it really optimizes that entire screen and it goes for any plugins as well. So if you have any plugins, you can do the same thing if you want to add plugins to that side of the monitor. So you could do like any plugin that you'd like and then just hit detached and you can move that over to on this screen. We have, you know, the the compressor and you can see that it's going freely right over there because I have it detached and usually by default, anything that's in the mixer and it comes out of the mixer is detached from now on as well, which makes it nice. way easier. So yeah, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.